So this is the first Minecraft 1.19 video I'm gonna make. I'm pretty late to the party, about 4 months, but you know what they say, better late than ever. So this is gonna be a quick one, I'm only gonna show you 7 frog spawn decorations because these are the only things I can think of. So yeah, hope you enjoy, let's get into it. So the first idea that came to my mind is being able to use frog spawn as pizza or food decoration. With frog spawn, you can make a pizza if you place it on an item frame. It's very simple and it also works with a glow item frame if you want a cheesy pizza. It also works with other seeds and miscellaneous if you're creating a different flavors of pizza which is really nice. Furthermore, you can use this idea to make fancy food by adding mangrove button below the item frame. So instead of pizza, you now have a deliciously cooked steak with a side of frog spawn. If you've watched my 7 secret build hacks number 21 where I made a bug, we can add a frog spawn beside it with the invisible item frame so it looks like the bug's egg or a food source. Now this is just one of the examples of using frog spawn with an invisible item frame and we're gonna need it all throughout the video. To get the invisible item frame, you're gonna type in the slash give command in chat. Make sure you have cheats enabled when doing so, and I also included this command in the description so you don't have to type it in. If you're somehow playing in the Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you can get these invisible item frame resource pack by Jebar Gaming that removes the original item frame texture. And it works like a charm, you can check it out from the link I provided in the description. Now let's get on with the next one. This is my favorite use of frog spawn so far. You can use it to make a jar of eyeballs that fits with the Halloween decoration. For this, it's actually really simple. You just need to place them around a glass with the invisible item frame. I did it with tinted glass for better visibility. And that's pretty much it. Now since I use tinted glass, here's what the jar of eyeballs looks like with regular glass and stained glass. I think they all look great. Now because we made a jar of eyeballs, this gave me the idea to use them as an eyeball for making an alien when placed on a slime block. To make this, all we need is an iron block, two levers, and two iron trapdoors for the alien's body. For the head, we'll place this slime block with lime glass paint on the sides and lime candle on the top. Then the frog spawn. And that's pretty much it. This works well on a skulk block because you can see the frog spawn even more, especially when you use an invisible glow item frame because it lits up at night. This also works on honey blocks since they have the same translucent effect on the block, but I still prefer the slime one because of the color, and you can definitely tell it's an alien. Another use of frog spawn with the invisible item frame is you can create some bullet holes on the wall which looks really cool if you're making some sort of a shooting range, a base, or something like that. You can also put it on a target block so it looks like an arrow has made some damage. You can also try strip dark oak log if you want a different target block. And just with these, it can simply make your build look real. And speaking of realistic builds, you can apply this idea when you're building in or near the seashore. Frog spawn can also become a barnacle when placed on the stones and into the waters. This also works in dock piling as it's surrounded by water and you can basically place as many as you want. This idea was made by Nikolai. He DM'd me on Discord about this build and I really really like it so the credit goes to him. Next build, we have frog spawns as the chips for a board game, maybe checkers or a card game. For this, you'll need a strip dark oak lug. You can use any lug, that's up to you. Then we'll place an armor stand wearing a chain helmet on top to create our main board. And that's pretty much it. You place your frog spawn in, and now you're ready to play. If you look at it from a different perspective, you can actually see it as a coin especially when you put it in the cartography table. And I actually think it's a nice little bonus you can do for decorating. And lastly, we have a frog spawn rug, which you can make by putting a half slab on water and placing the frog spawn. The reason why I call it a rug is because of the unique pattern you get from the frog spawn itself, and it actually looks like one of the bathroom mats. 
However, if you leave it for a long period of time, it can hatch and start to fill in with tadpoles underneath. So make sure to check in once in a while if you're bothered. So that's actually it for this video. Since it came out too short for all of you, I think it's the perfect time to advertise my one and only fish cord. So if you are 13 years old and above, you can join the server and that's because of the discord rules. So we gotta follow them. So let me give you a quick rundown of my discord server. So once you have joined my discord server from the description of this video, you get to the rules and regulations channel where you can see all of the available rules. And these are the rules for my server, so make sure to read them very carefully. And once you have read the rules, go back to the top over here. If you read the rules, make sure to react to the green check mark. And once you have reacted to the green check mark, you now have access to every channel available on this server. So here you can see the important tab, information tab, and the chatting tab. On the important tab, we got the announcement channel, and these are available only for my Discord server. And these are not for my community or my YouTube, but if you want to get notified of my latest vids on YouTube, you go to the uploads channel. Make sure to have the announcement ping so you are notified of my latest videos. Make sure to go to the self roles and go over here to the not notification roles where you can get the announcement. Now over here, we got the giveaway, the event, and the tuba SMP. And yeah, you can pretty much just check these all out by yourself. We got the boosters, the starboard, you can see all the funny stuff, and of course the giveaway, which again, you can get by going over to the self rose channel. And over the information tab, you can see the information, and this is all the information that you can get on what to do here on this server. So we have all the guide here. Then we have the common question. Here is a list of my frequently asked questions and answers and of course we have the questions channel if you want to ask some questions regarding my discord or my youtube just go here we got the suggestions tab if you want to suggest some build ideas or video ideas you can suggest it right here and of course we have the chatting tab where you can see all the chatting channels available we got the contest this is where you submit all your submissions for the contest and of course, we have the Genview, or the General. We call it Genview here. It's called Spooky Genview. And this is the main channel, main chatting channel of the server. So here, let me just come and say hello. There you go. And then we got the International Genview. Let me just say hi again. And over here to the Media tab, you get to see the Fan Arts channel. And this is where you can send your fan arts so I can feature them. You can see a lot of uh, submissions, and if they are ready, I will ping you if they're ready for a feature. So there you go, that's pretty nice. And of course, we got the builds. So this is where you can share all of your builds, as you can see. And the rest, you can just check it out for yourself. We got the entertainment tab, the server economy. You can just check it out for yourself. Make sure to join the Discord. And that's pretty much the quick rundown of my server. So I hope to see you here and come say hello, come say hi. So you can talk to me here personally. And yeah, we can just chill, vibe, and all of that stuff. So that's where I end this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it's a very short one, but I promise you, you'll get more long videos in the long run. And we're just getting started with the 1.19 build hacks. So there will be more for next week and the whole month. For updates, you can check out my socials in the description of this video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.